Magnet television. Magnet television. Magnet television. You're watching Magnet television because what else are you going to do? Hey everyone. Hey everyone, this, this is, is Hey King, King. <laughs> and this is a piano, and that's Tori Amos, and this is Cat Stevens, and this is a cat, and one of them converted to Islam. It wasn't this cat. Fun facts. So favorite Tori Amos song of all time, uh, Yes Anastasia. Okay. The freaking arrangement on that, the horns, are you kidding me? Yeah. It's amazing. They're very amazing. sad and uplifting at the same time. They it's are. pretty weird. And we're supposed to narrow this down to Tori Amos. Well, then in that and case, Tori? my favorite Tori Amos song would have to be White Horses. That's nice. Yeah. But generally yes, speaking. Yes, but generally no. speaking, favorite songs, Natalie, do you have some? Uh, I'd say like Edith Piaf's Genova Gatrienne. Ooh, that's a good that's choice. A good one. Plus, you feel like you're in the movie Inception. Which is nice. <laughs> so you're like, where am I? Um, I really like one of the anime openings for Full Metal Alchemist. It's yes. called Rewrite. It was Full Metal Alchemist, the original. Even though I love Brotherhood so much more, but Rewrite by Asian Kung Fu Generations is just badass. And like, I can listen to it, and like, it makes me want to like go skateboarding. It makes me want to like put your hand up in the sky and just like think of the infinity worlds the infinite amount of like things that exist that are so much beyond like the I little like that. soul that you are in this world truth by alexander Ooh, that's that one of good. my favorites that's it's like my pump up song when i just have to like go to meetings and stuff my pump up song and... is let's go matt and kim oh that's another one that's a different it's like let's style. go let's go let's go <laughs> <laughs> not as much as like no no, no. Me bleed out and stuff yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, um, perfect drug by Nine Inch Nails. That's one of the greatest, oh, uh, like, arranged and well. If we're talking about arranged time. and engineer, this Toxic one's by Britney Spears. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I was gonna say Alt J's Breeze Blocks. Oh, yeah. and one of my favorite music videos too to that's go with one of that you song. Ever me yeah, of course it was. Yeah. And what did I show you? Cigaro. Oh, that's right. Hippopola. Yes, that song. Is it Hippopola or Hippopola? Video. Isn't it Hippopola? Don't pretend to be able to. Also, pronounce. isn't it Cigaro or Cigaros? I say Cigaro. 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 Anyway, my dog's crying, so I'm probably <laughs> pronouncing probably it wrong. pronouncing it wrong. The both of us, but those are just a few of some of our favorite songs. We definitely have a lot more, um, but yeah, that's a little brief take of some of our we'll favorite songs. We'll go back songs. to the Tori Amos answers anyway. <laughs> awesome. Favorite Tori Amos album of all time. <laughs> definitely Boys for Pele. The Venus and Back was great. The live songs, amazing. That was awesome. Loved that album. Saw her in concert as a kid. Saw that concert in kid, well, uh, as a kid while she was uh, recording that thing. It was amazing. She made eye contact. Mm -hmm. Felt like I disappeared. I don't think that this is just about Tori Amos again. Uh, favorite <laughs> albums of all time? No, favorite just name album a, of I think that we could just name a few, kind of okay. like get it going. Because mine are kind of weird. When it comes to listening to full albums, I have to say I prefer musicals. A lot, oh, like a lot. Oh, shut up. I mean, yeah, whatever, theater kid. But my favorite album of all time to listen to from start to finish would have to be the musical soundtrack and score of Next to Normal. It's like Heavy. you put it, I know, but like you put it on from like track one to like track, what, 30? And like the whole thing tells an entire story, like a rock opera, but it's really, did I say rock? <laughs> a rock opera. I'd say it's so good. Albums, Next to normal. If you haven't heard it, check it out. It's my favorite musical. Albums of all time that I can listen to beginning to end, no problem. Obsessed with Ugly Casanova's first Ooh. record all the way through. Incredible. Uh, two Gallons, uh, What the Tell Tolls. Ooh. Yeah. That if you've not heard two that. Two gallons. Yeah. I have. I probably am pronouncing their name wrong because I only read it. Did you know when I was in Canada as a kid and my cousins kept saying Nirvana <gasps> and I had to explain no. to them and show them a video of Kurt Cobain being like, hi, we're Nirvana and nobody believed me. So I'm probably uh, pronouncing it. That's yeah. pretty it's funny. one of the greatest storytelling albums. Real I've fast. Uh, okay. One of my oh, favorite like normal Stevens, music. Illinois. Stupid on Siemens. Great album. Mumford and Sons, Sigh No More. Yes. And the Fuji's The Score. When I was a kid, I 
was home from spring break and I just listened to the score from beginning to end and then Googled every single reference they made in it so I could understand all of it. And I learned so much, so much. They're brilliant. Oh my God, I wish they'd get back together. Laura and Hale, I love you so much, especially in Sister Act 2. <laughs>
she would make banter jokes about that and probably be like one or two people out of the like, you know, few Thanks thousand people would be like, ha. Huh. And Where's then that's Scott it. Brown? No, babe, no. Nobody. No. Nobody's watched the show? I don't think a lot Emily of people. Emily Van Camp. Anyways. <laughs> okay. So I was, we needed to do a round, like a vocal round where like I sing a line and Natalie sings a line at the same time. And right before that though, I had a solo moment. But this woman in the front row who was an amazing audience member, uh, Not at all. she kept clapping. Completely off, off beat, though. not on the same beat at all. Oh my god! And so, and this Natalie and I would make a like really this. sad song. Like if you check out our EP, you'll realize like we sing about a lot really? of like really sad, intense things. Um, and, and so, there was like a guitar line going and the drum line going and everything, and she was just <laughs> not on it. It was like this. It was it was kind of incredible. Oh my but god! But I I went up to the microphone and. I just started laughing. So I pull myself away because I'm, I'm, I'm crying laughing at this moment and it's a really intense sad song and I'm laughing. And so I just turn around and I give Natalie like these, this death stare, like you better sing this part. I'm so sorry, I can't. But she literally <laughs> went to the mic and was like, nope. And just like did like a I did like a, like a, I'm, I'm out, and I I'm out of doing <laughs> the exact same thing. And then our drummer just looked at us with death stare. Like you guys better be on this and Max, oh, he did. It's he just, held like, it up. Around, started to yeah. on bass. And like, so we, they, were, they had to just loop. They just had to loop it until we were uh, oh, composed God. enough to not just and finish laugh. The song. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. I, uh, I think we've grown since then. Probably not at all. <laughs> Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Hey King, King and you're watching Magnet, Magnet Television. Television. And this is a puppy, but not a real one. Sine.